this video I'll show how we've implemented block-based programming support for a ROS and PX4-based drone called Clover. Block programming is a visual programming method when you compose your program using blocks. To implement it, we used a library called Blockly. It allows creating a block programming web application. It also can convert the program composed out of blocks to several regular programming languages, such as Python, Lua, JavaScript and others. We created a web application based on Blockly that sends the generated program to the drone so it can execute it and return the result. All the communication between the user interface and the server part is happening through ROS topics and ROS services. We use the library called ROSLibJS, which allows to create a web tool that can access ROS on your robot. So running the composed program actually converts it to Python code and sends it to the server node. This code is run by a server in a new thread. In this thread we reuse the already initialized connection to ROS, so the flight begins immediately without any delay, which really improves the user experience. The unique identifier of current executing block is published to the appropriate topic, so the user interface can highlight it in real time. The maximum publish rate of this topic is limited, so the user interface doesn't get overloaded with messages in fast loops. The print block generates a regular Python print call. The server replaces this function with a modified one. This modified function publishes the data to the appropriate topic, so the user interface can display the program output. Input Python function that is generated by prompt block is also replaced. The modified input function publishes the prompt to a topic. The user interface prompts the desired data from the user and then sends the user input to a topic named with the unique identifier of this specific prompt. So the running program can obtain this data and continue to work. The blocks library covers all needs of autonomous flights programming. The blocks are divided into several categories – flight for flight control, state for obtaining the current state of the drone such as its position or attitude, LED for working with the LED strip. Like in this example, where the program highlights an individual LED in LED strip to point to a specific direction, acting like a compass. Set point change block allows the user to control the flight at any level, the desired velocity, attitude or the angular rates. With rates control, the user can program the drone to make a flip straight from the block's program. The Clever simulator shares the same code base with the actual drone, so block programming works there as well. The block programming feature received wide adoption from the users. 
there even exists an extension made by a team from Brazil, a drone swarm that can be programmed using blocks.